SAP HANA Extended Application Services. This is a new feature available from SAP HANA 1.0 SPS 5. It is a repository for source codes. It is, a, it is also a development environment, a small application server and an embedded web server within HANA, within SAP HANA. In SPS 5, a new perspective was introduced that is called development perspective. There are two, three tools under development perspective. They are Navigator View, SAP HANA Repositories and Project Explorer. So these are the three tools under SAP HANA development perspective. Navigator is usual navigator and HANA Repository and Project Explorer. So Navigator, HANA Repository and Project Explorer. In the Navigator view, we can create new package, but as usual, but problem is more integration with Eclipse Editor is needed and an Eclipse project also has to be created. Developers can work either locally, they can work locally on the projects. In this example, say we have created a package called zero underscore or minus uvin pro access under the navigator view, under the navigator tool in SAP HANA development. The so same way here, I can create a new new package. So let us let us create a new package. I give the name zero. I will almost give the same name. I will say XS1. Take the default description and say OK. So the package is XS1 is here. There is nothing under the package. So in the HANA repository, I don't see anything. So HANA repository help us to work with files locally using checkout and check-in facility. We have to create workspace after selecting an HANA system and allocate directory in the local computer for this workspace. So now if we go here and right click and then create a new repository. So I select the right system and then I give the workspace name. So I will give the name Don hyphen you win pro access so it will create a new folder under this directory if I want to change I can change then I finish so I got it here if I click on the plus sign I see everything uh, what I see under the navigator view but these are shown as folders so what I created in the navigator view that is zero uvin pro zero uvin pro xs1 is here as well it's here at the top but there is nothing under that sap hana server connection is established using the current user credentials so when i did that my my current user credentials were used and also it creates a directory in the local file system so if i go here If I go to my workspace, so done, workspace, then I see that one what I created. If I click on that, I see this. The local file system that corresponds to the workspace we created. All packages will be available under the workspace created as in the navigator content view. That's what we saw. So all packages are available here as folders under the repository. But local file system will have a corresponding directory without any contents at this time. So we showed that it didn't have any content. So this is how we created the workspace. 
and we gave the name for the workspace and we selected the folder in our case we selected the default folder then it created the created a folder yeah. with the same name of the package but when I went to the directory I didn't see anything other than this so now I wanted to create a project so what I should do is I should go here I highlight this and I say check out right before showing that when I went to this folder I didn't see anything now I'm going to say check out now going back going back to this folder I saw that one there so now it is checked out it is under my workspace but when I click on that I see nothing it's empty so first check out the directory with the package name in SAP HANA repository content view now the package will be available in the file system as a folder you saw it also other developers can use checkout and import project option also so if I go here there's another option here check out and import projects in case my project got deleted or if another person wanted to import the projects he can check out and import project so it will be go going from the repository central repository to his desktop so we did check out then we saw here and but we, this was created sorry and then this was created under that this was created before and this is created under that but there is nothing under that so now we have to create a Eclipse project so we go to the project explorer right click and then say new project so we, we are going to create we can create multiple projects here there are a lot of projects we can create but we are selecting a simple access project so I'll give a project name so I will say uwin pro means unix windows pro professional so I'm going to create uh, the project in the default location now it's creating under a different folder HDB studio now I finish so it's created now if I go to that folder TV studio so go back so it's created here Unix Windows Pro when you click, click on that I see this at the same time when I go to HANA repository and it, when I refresh it click on this I still don't see anything but I have all the objects under that many objects under that so now I will go I have to share the project with the SAP HANA server and also I want to select the SAP HANA repository where I want to connect to later so let me do that now <coughs> click on this and I go to team and share the project so this is my repository now I go to HANA repository I refresh again Okay, if I go to the operating system level, if I go to that package, I will see that directory created. So I see all these things. Early it was empty. So this is my project name. So I shared the project 
and I selected the file system path I did all these things now I'm going to activate the project so I'll come here I'll go to the project explorer first commit and then activate so now we got everything here since we we have to activate for us to see all these things So now we will, so we have to commit to see all those things. Now we will activate. So after committing, we are able to see that. If you want, we can check for errors and then activate. So now it's activated. If I want, I can I can create some applications here and share with the public. In that case, case I have to create some uh, files called access app and access access dot access app and dot access access dot access app will not have any information, but dot access x will have information related to access access restrictions. So this is how we created. Then we shared the project. Then we committed. Then we activated. If I want, after creating, uh, after doing creating the project, I can create some files, simple files or other applications under that. So we assume that I'm creating a simple file. So I have to give the name of the file. So I give the name of the file. I make some entries in the file. Then I commit. When I commit, the things change. The, the, the symbol here changes. And then I activate the simple changes. Then users can use it. But we have to create the dot .access app and dot .access access files. Thank you.